Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iBooks Author onto your Snow Leopard 10.6.8. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because if you try to download uh, iBooks Author, it's going to tell you that it needs to be on 10.7 or later, right? So, uh, we're going to do a little bit of modifying of some plist files into thinking that uh, our system is 10.7.2 and so uh, before we do that a couple of things that you need to do first is make sure that you have the latest latest version of iTunes and right now as of this recording it would be 10.5.3 and I don't know what the parentheses 3 means but 10.5.3 is the latest version also you want to be on 10.6.8 here, right? Um, so just make sure you have those two first. And so if you don't, then do the software update. I already done the updates, uh, and this is the latest version, so it's not going to come up. Uh, nothing's going to come up for me. But you'll see iTunes, and you'll see uh, combo update or something to ten point six point eight, and uh, then you'll be able to uh, have your system updated. Okay, so now we're going to be uh, editing a file, and I'm going to show you where to find the system version.plist. You go to your main hard drive here, and then you're going to go to system, then library, and then you're going to look for core services. And then in core services, there's going to be a file down at the bottom, or alphabetical, however you have it laid out. Uh, you're going to find uh, system version dot plist right so we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit copy I'm gonna copy it onto the desktop because you can't edit it inside of this folder here so we'll paste it right and then uh, normally you could double click on it and it should open up with text edit but I have other programs that's gonna try to open it so I'm gonna manually do um, open with Right, so I right clicked on it and hit open with and uh, here's the text edit program and I'll just go ahead and always open it with text edit right so don't pay any attention to this file here and we're going to change the two strings here to uh, 10.7.2 same thing with this version here 10.7.2 to then when we close it out it's going to ask us to save we'll just go ahead and say yes save and overwrite right so now we've got our newly written um, file here and uh, now we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop and it's asking to authenticate because we're going to replace the system version .plist file and so we just go ahead and authenticate, put in our password, whatever it is that you have there. All right, so we have that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to back to our um, iBooks author, and we're going to click on Install App. All right, then you're going to log in, and uh, then it's going to download. So you're going to see a quick wipe, and uh, you'll see it download. We'll continue on from there. Okay, so I've just logged in, and as you can see right down here, it's already downloading. Now, here's an important step. You need to quit the App Store, right? So go to App Store, quit App Store, right? So once this is finished downloading, we're going to go to our Applications folder, back in our main HD there. Go to Applications, and iBooks is just about finishing up. As soon as it's finished, we're going to edit it. Okay, so we're here in the Applications folder, and then we're going to go ahead and find iBooks Author. And you're going to right-click on it, and click on Show Contents, then open up the Contents folder. Then on the Info P list, again, you're going to open it with the Text Editor. Right? And then, uh, because there's a whole jumble of... Uh, code here. The quickest way is to go to uh, find, which is edit find right here, or Apple F 
right? And we're going to type in 10.7.2, right? So here is where it says 10.7.2. 10 we're going to change this to 10.6.8, right? And let's make sure that there are no other... All right, so there's no more 10.7.2. Uh, so then we'll just go ahead and close that, click on Save. Now, we actually have to go back to uh, the um, system version on the Mac itself because remember, our system version still says 7.2, 10.7.2. So again, back on the main HD, there's uh, you go to the system folder, you go to the library, core services, scroll down to systemversion.plist and then uh, just make a copy of it copy paste open with text edit right and we're going to change this again to 10.6.8 this one 10.6.8 and we'll go ahead and save it then we're gonna drag and drop again authenticate again replace all right and now the moment of truth we're going to open it and voila we have iBooks author here go ahead and start this up here we have it All right thanks for watching please uh comment rate thumbs up thumbs down subscribe all that jazz thanks for watching catch you laters